Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Chile, I, I'm definitely going to get an intro at some point. But anyway, welcome back to another episode of IG Lies, IG Lies, IG Lies with Jan Slay. <laughs> okay, so today we have yet another awesome and amazing special guest as usual. So we are waiting for our guests, and then we will go ahead and get started. So hope you guys have all had a great day. What's going on? Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Oh, thank you for the love. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, everyone. We are waiting for our special guest. Then we will go ahead and get this interview started. Hopefully, um, everyone's had a good day. Um, it's been a lot going on lately. Oh, look, my little scarf. I have to do like some kind of hair treatment because um, after I finished working out today, when I looked at my hair, it was like all over the place. So I was like, oh, Chile, let me go ahead and put this scarf on. Oh, our, our guest is here. Perfect. You said great vibe. Thank you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? If you would have seen my hair before I put the <laughs> my hair, we are. So I just sent the invite, and um, sometimes it takes a little bit of time to get connected. You guys remember that commercial? Get connected. Hello. Hi. How are you doing today? Hi. Can you see me good? Is my connection good? Yes. Everything's good. You look amazing. How are you? Thank you. So do you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How was your day today? My day has been lovely. What about yours? Yes, it's been it's been great. Um, it's it's kind of feeling like the days are running into each other. So sometimes I don't know if I did something today or yesterday. But for all intents and purposes, it's been a good day. I definitely understand that. <laughs> Absolutely. So let's just go ahead and get started. As you know, I do these incredibly unconventionally and like to have um, a full-blown like conversation kind of free-flowing vibe. So if you would, could you please introduce yourself from your own point of view, and then we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, well, my name is Tasha Love. Um, as you can see, it's all on the flyer. I do talent. I'm a talent manager right now. I do artist management, um, just, you know, handling the day-to-day activities with my artists, booking shows, getting features, just making sure they don't have to worry about anything but being an artist, pretty much. And right now, my artist that I'm working with right now is Ricky, and you did an interview with him, so you're familiar with him, and um, go check him out also, you guys, that he just released his new single, Precise, in the streaming on all platforms right now, so go check it out. Go buy that single on iTunes, and if y'all want to look him up, he goes by at Ricky for Life on Instagram, and that's with the number four. Awesome. So can you highlight um, what exactly, for someone who might not uh, be familiar with the industry and entertainment, period, what exactly is a talent manager? We're just overall managing, like, well, you know, a talent manager could be many things, you know, all fields of talent that you pretty much, it could be dancing, it could be music, it could be performing, Broadway, you know, it's a wide variety of things that you could do with a talent manager. It's just pretty much what I do is I do, I focus on artist management. Mm, okay, okay. So did you, is this something that you like fell into or did you always have a passion for music and artistry? I've always had a passion for music, of course, ever since I was young. I kind of did kind of fall into it a little bit. Um, I always kind of was that outgoing person that was always out there networking with people, um, doing promoting for, like, clubs and other industry events and stuff like that. And then I just kind of got more into, like, developing artists probably, like, a few years ago. And then I decided that, you know, that's what I like to do most. So I made that my main for focus for now. Yeah, Absolutely. So um, is there anything that you've learned that you feel like would be beneficial to maybe someone that's like, I, I think I might want to do management, but I'm not sure if that's the career for me. Like, like, is there any like tips or um, anything like that you can think of? Yeah, the main thing is, you know, just don't be too hard on yourself. I mean, this industry, of course, can be kind of rough sometimes. And so you just got to kind of be headstrong, know what you want. 
you know, you got to kind of go for it. You got to just put yourself out there. You can't really doubt yourself too much. You got to really believe in, like, what you're capable of and what you can bring to the table. And it also is going to overflow to, like, whoever you're managing or whatever your position is. You want to make sure that you're your best self all the time, you know, for them, too, because you're a representation of them just like they're a representation of you. So you just want to make sure that you just put yourself out there. Take some risks. Don't be afraid to fail. You know, as long as you just keep it pushing, keep it going, that's really the, all that matters at the end of the day. Absolutely. Period. Yes. Um, Ricky said, wise words, Tasha Love. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So um, can you tell us about how you got your first artist? Because it's one thing to say, like, I want to be a talent manager. It's another thing to actually be managing talent. So how, how did you make that? bridge from I want to do it to I am doing it now well Ricky would say I would be my first artist that I really have gone all into with and we actually just came across each other like online you know we were friends first and then like found out he did music the music was really good so it kind of was just like a natural relationship between us two when it came to the music and like having a business relationship pretty much um I saw that he was a good you know good artist had good music and I was willing to you know just jump on board right away absolutely so what what is like the ideal um talent and manager relationship like because i would imagine you guys for the most part have to be on the same page and operating in similar ways so what are ways that you found or like you know how did how do you make sure that you have a good relationship with with your talent i think the main thing is just pretty much listening to what they want you got to remember this isn't what you want you're working for this person you know to advance them and get to where get them where they want to go with their goals and their dreams and the main thing is just making sure you're listening to what the artist wants and making sure you're catering to those needs um not you know kind of not being selfish in a way you want to make sure you're doing what's best for them not always what's best for you i know like a lot of managers they got this idea of what they want to be how they want them to sound how they want them to move and I think one of the biggest things is all like part of being creative is like really trusting that person that you're managing or working with their creative process. You know, you got to trust that they know where they want to be, especially when they're really good. You just kind of got to go with the flow and things will just kind of come off naturally good if you are on the same page. That's, that's what helps get you on the same page with them. Like truly having an understanding and talk about what you really want. All right. So um, what, What's been, I guess, like the biggest challenge and success that you've had so far? Um, and, and it could just be in general or specifically with, um, with the uh, management. What's the biggest challenge and hurdle that you've overcome? And then also what's the biggest triumph that you've had so far? The biggest challenge is probably doubting yourself, trying to figure out how you're going to get to the next step. You know, if you're capable, if you got what it takes to do this, you know, because you can call, you can get knocked down a lot. You can come into a lot of obstacles and a lot of road steps. So the biggest challenge is really just pushing through it, knowing that you got what it takes, like just just taking that risk, throwing yourself out there constantly. You know, even though you don't know what to really expect, never just expecting failure from yourself. You got to kind of like eliminate that aspect of your mind that something don't go wrong. Because I truly believe in what you put out there is what you get. So I walk into every situation like with no doubt. Like, this is what it's going to be. I'm not really asking for stuff. I'm more like telling my destiny. You know, I'm going with my destiny. Like, this is what I want. So this is what I'm going to get. I'm not really, you know, leaving room for failure or like that doubt to come in or, you know, like, can I do it? Kind of got to get rid of that stuff. Like, just be like, look, I'm capable. I can do this. And everything just going to have to work the way out because that's just how I want it to be. You know, you got to kind of be like that. You got to kind of have that ego in a way. That just so, you know, that's helping. That's what helps me push through. It's all like, look, girl, you got this. You can do this. Can't nobody else show me. Can't no, ain't nobody going to stop this show. You got to just keep always uplifting yourself and boosting yourself up in a way because ain't nobody else going to do. And then, like, after that, the trials, the biggest other thing after, like, the trials, you know, like, of course, once you get through that part, you go, you end up finding out what you are capable to do. Once you get the job done and things work out, then you kind of look back at that, like, see, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so hard. The hard part is pretty much just getting through the process and trusting yourself through the process. Once that's done, you get over that hump, you, you realize, like, mm, this was a piece of cake. It's, it's, it's always like that. 
in the end. So um, how are you able, because you have a real calm, cool vibe, but also have like a, some like a fiery, passionate side at the same time. So how are you able to balance, especially in such a fast paced, like fast moving um, career and industry? How are you able to stay grounded and level headed? First of all, God, because I ain't doing nothing without this. I say level headed because I really, I just trust him. Half the time, I don't know how I'm getting through all this stuff. I don't know how I'm doing this stuff, but I just trust. I just have no doubt. I just fully trust him that he's going to get me to where I need to be. He's going to put the tools in front of me that I need. He's going to give me those, those steps to walk up every step of the way. It is really like having faith in like God and like who you are, you know, just pretty much like realizing that if this is something that you really want, you got to make it happen. You got to kind of like put aside all the being afraid and, you know, kind of like cowering in the corner. You just kind of just got to just go for it, really. Like one day I woke up and I just, I said, look, this simple life isn't for me. Like I had to get out there and get it. I, you know, you watch stuff around you all the time and you'd be like, that's me. You know what I'm saying? You got that urges in you, that fire inside you all the time. And you'd be like, I, I can't figure out where I'm supposed to be. You just know you're supposed to be destined for greatness. And so what I did is I just get, I just decided to give into that feeling. Period. I decided to accept who I am. Absolutely. So, so was that for you and that self-acceptance and that full, just like living your best life? Cause I'm all about it. So was that something that you've always had that mindset on? Or yes, yes, uh, powerful words, Tasha Love. Love it. We all love it. So uh, was that something that you've always had? Or was that something that kind of developed through time or a little bit of both? This is something I feel like I've always had. Um, ever since I was younger, my family would still, my family would be like, I'll be the one like always on in front of the camera. Always saying, like, watch your TV, like, that's going to be me. I always knew that I was supposed to be something bigger than what I thought it was. You know, like I said, I grew up with the urges, like, you know, I'm supposed to just do more. I know that my destiny is full. Like, I'm supposed to be greater than doing what I want to do. I was never built to do, like, normal stuff. I was never a normal person. But if anything, the battle was, like, accepting that. Because you can watch people around you all the time doing certain things and stuff, and it's easy to get caught up in. Maybe I'm supposed to be doing this or maybe I should settle for that. And I've, that's always been like a big conflict for me. It's all like, this doesn't feel right. Like I'll get multiple jobs trying to find out what I want to do. This doesn't feel right. You know, or you move on to something else. It's like, this just doesn't feel right. And then you realize you already knew it. You already knew it my whole life. It was just whether I was willing to accept it or not, whether I was willing to, you know, accept, accept my destiny, like what I'm supposed to do, like my gift in life. I've always had to give a gab and everything. So you just got to kind of realize what am I good at and just go full speed like that. You know, like use your best qualities and certain things I've always just had. And then I just decided to like, like I said, it's all about acceptance, you know, because you, you'll get everything. You'll get all the signs around you, which you're not supposed to do. And so as I grew older, it became very clear, very apparent. After a process of elimination, this is what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So then that's when you just decide that you're going to walk, you go, you're going to walk in your path. And when I started having an open mind about, you know, I can do this and this is for me. It might not be for everybody, but this is for me. Then you start to get in alignment with your life. You know, everything just starts to flow and everything just starts to work out. Absolutely. Speak on it. Yes. Future number one music management in the game. That's right. They better watch your day. All of them better watch out for me because I'm coming. Oh, exactly. Move I'm coming. Right I'm already here. Period. Make my play, okay? <laughs> and make it hot. I don't want no cold food, okay? Okay. It's time for us young people to come in and get them a new, a new vision, new ideas, and I'm here all for it. Absolutely. So I'm curious. Um, You mentioned that at first you were like, I'm going to be on the TV, right? But now you're in more so of behind-the-scenes role. So how did how did that transition happen? Uh, and like, just just um, how did that how'd you go from like, oh, I want to be this way. And now I'm going to take more of the back scene action. I wouldn't really say it's a transition because I'm still going to be on TV. I'm still going to do other stuff. I got other stuff that I want to do. Artist management is not the only thing I plan mm -hmm. on doing like podcasts. I would love to be on radio or 
a future talk show? I don't know. But I'm not doubting anything, and I'm not putting nothing past myself either. So I feel like I can do the both, both, of, both the best worlds. But right now, I do like the behind the scenes things. Like I said, I used to do like a lot of promotions and stuff. I kind of like, it's kind of like in the light, and you're not in the light at the same time. I feel like what I'm doing is kind of both of best worlds. You know, like I could be a little bit in the front, but I could be in the back too. I kind of yeah. like to be a well-rounded person because I'd be liking to know how to do everything. So, I mean, I'm still gonna be on the TV too. You might catch me in the movie. I don't know. I might be, okay. I might be the next Marvel character. Who knows? I'm not limiting yeah. myself. Well, I'm, I'll be like this <laughs> when I see it. Okay. I'm like, okay. Oh. Watch out. Look, this, this, this is a door opening for myself too to get myself through doors too. But I don't have no problem sitting in the back seat and watching and letting other people shine. Also, because at the end of the day, I'm here to help people serve people that's like one of my gifts in life and in the process i'll get blessed to be able to do whatever i want and need to do too that's the way i think about it absolutely absolutely oh they said you both are beautiful thank you thank you thank you thank you and covering all lanes absolutely and i think it's such a um such a breath of fresh air especially as a like another woman to woman like and really um, hearing your passion and expressiveness about, you know, what you're doing now, what you'll do in the future. And like, I'm all here for it. I'm wondering, um, where does that fire and your your spark and your, dr your drive come from? Was that something, because I know we kind of touched on it earlier, but it's definitely a great quality to have in a manager or in a business partner in general. So where does that um, fire and that passion in you to succeed where does that stem from a lot of trials and tribulations you know the going through the struggles and life just growing up in process i i feel like i've gone through enough stuff that i'm just built for certain stuff like really after you've been knocked down for so many times or go through certain things you know it could be anything it could be from bullying when you're younger to like people doubting that you're not capable to do stuff or constantly being rejected for a lot of stuff i feel like all those things have helped me make me who i am one thing about me is when i go through make mistakes and i learn lessons i truly apply that stuff to my life because i'm not the type of person that like to make the same mistake twice or over and over i feel like god has truly blessed me with that quality because i feel like i'm one and done like go ahead and get all that stuff out of the way so i can bask in my glory later okay I so i feel like i've been through enough stuff so now i'm in my basket in my glory stage like i didn't went through it I done done this and I done done that and now I'm reaping what I what I sold. I'm reaping my benefits and from this point I really true like it's not no stopping me. Like all that I'm glad I'm one of them people that will set up and go through all the BS in the beginning so that I don't have to worry about that because God knows my heart. He knows I ain't the one for doing the tip for tax stuff. Like constantly going up and down and highs and lows and one minute I'm on top and one minute I'm not. Just get it all out of the way for me so I can just skyrocket from here. And right now everybody's catching me in my skyrocket these games and i ain't afraid to admit it because i work hard for it absolutely, absolutely. so what um what would you say to someone who is a little bit afraid right like maybe they're not someone who has always had a spark maybe they're like oh i want to try this i want to go after this thing but i'm scared because what happens if i fail and what happens if this so what would you say to that person who's too afraid to move i would say that of course that's a natural instinct to have that's like just being human pretty much you're going to naturally be scared especially when you're doing something that um you've never done before or trying to try um, but my main message would be um, just remember that you got to focus on yourself. Sometimes in life, you got to be a little bit selfish and all being selfish isn't always a bad thing. Sometimes you got to not really listen to probably what people are putting in your ear or sometimes the enemy will whisper in your ear a little bit too. But you just got to remember if something's telling you, if you get no more feelings that, oh, I can't do this or I'm not going to make it, that means that something knows that you're going to make it and that you can't do it. Of course, the uh, enemy is always going to try to, you know, make you doubt yourself and try to, you know, get you. It's going to do whatever it takes for you not to get to that level of success or get that breakthrough in your mind. So you just got to always, I always say, like, do the reverse. It's like do reverse psychology on yourself. If you're feeling down, keep telling yourself, no, you know, like, I'm not listening to that. You know, like that, that ain't for me. That message isn't for me. You know, you got to kind of like retrain your brain, brain in a while because the way society is set up now, 
you got a lot of negativity constantly coming at you. So that's, that's why true. I say it's kind of natural to have that doubt. But the main thing is whenever you're going through that, like I said, reverse the cause of yourself. Like, no, this means that I am about to do something great. Mm -hmm. If you get that little whisper in your brain right before you get ready to get that, go to that interview or uh, right before you try to, you know, do anything, just re just flip it around yourself. Like, no, you must be telling me this because you know I'm about to kill it. You know, <laughs> You know I'm about to go out here and do my thing. You just gotta kind of like retrain your brain, brain in a way, in a way, and just love yourself more. Just know that you don't need any type of confirmation. You know you don't need no validation from nobody but yourself. And once you understand that, then can't nobody get to you. Then they're gonna see you shining, and then you know it's gonna have to flee. The negativity is gonna have to like move away from you. So the main thing is stay true to yourself. Trust your first instincts. First of all, trust your own instincts. You know, only you know who you are. Only know you know what you're capable of. And it kind of sad to say, we're in a world where we got to prove that type of stuff. But I say prove it by really doing your own thing instead of trying to do something for somebody else. Prove it by being like, I'm I'm not going to listen to you. I'm sometimes not going to even listen to myself when I'm down myself. I'm just going to push forward, make those risks, and do what I need to do. And then you... You'll see at the end that it, it really wasn't that hard to do. You just got to get through that initial hump, that, that initial hurdle. That's all. Yes, yes, yes. I do a signature round of applause. And you definitely, you got two just then. Yes, drop them gems like they on sale, please. <laughs> and so we got a couple comments. Tell that journey. She is destined for greatness. Absolutely. She's very encouraging. I agree. Yes, I agree too. Um. Thank you, guys. We are coming up uh, a little bit on the tail end. So I wanted to know if there's any projects or anything that I didn't already ask about uh, if that you wanted to mention. We can discuss that. Or I have some other questions. So if you had anything that you wanted to speak about that I didn't ask you about already that you're like, oh, I should probably talk about that now, um, feel free. Okay, like I said, right now, my main focus right now is checking out my art, my artist, Ricky. Once again, Ricky for life with the number four. His um his single, Precise, is, um, is streaming on all platforms right now. That's my main focus. We got a lot of future projects coming up, so go ahead and follow him. Follow me, Tasha.love with two Bs, and we'll keep you posted in the process of all our upcoming things that we got going on. I'm very excited what we got going on. You're, he's definitely going to make a big buzz out here. He's definitely about to make a splash in the industry. So, like I said, you watch out for me and Ricky because we're coming through. Full speed ahead. Yes. yes we Period. Are <laughs> Period. Very inspiring. G-Money, we're doing well. Thanks for asking. Um, so, I, um, I feel like there's so many different gems that we got out of this interview thus far. And um, I'm, I, for one, am super excited to see what happens. Like, girl, if you do come up with a podcast, send me a DM and let me know. Because I will oh, definitely you know, listen. I got okay. you, girl. You know, that's <laughs> definitely one thing I want to start doing is a podcast. So hopefully that will be up sooner than later. I, that is something that I am working on. And, of course, you're definitely going to be one of my first guests. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I, might, I haven't done an interview. This is, like, my first live interview. So I will definitely return the favor, boo. Oh, yeah. I I will listen, but yes, I'll let me flip's hair. Flips, okay. be ready, girl, because I'm coming through. You know what? I will have my podcast, and you will be on it. How about that? Let's just go ahead and that? send it soon, okay? I receive it, receive it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I would like to say, is there anyone in the last couple of minutes, if there's any shout outs, any thank yous, any things like that that you wanted to do? Um, feel free and if someone did want to contact you or um, Ricky either one what would be the best way to get in contact with you especially because um, you are a representation of each other um, so how would what would be the best way to get in contact with you if somebody wanted to work with you hit you up interview anything like that Okay, so first I'm gonna give a shout out to my mom and my daddy because they the one who made me who I am today. Okay, mom and dad. <laughs> and then my, all my family, my friends that are watching, thank you guys for tuning in and supporting me. And of course, my artist Ricky, he's in there. Facts, facts, facts. Let's go. That's my week. Double teaming everybody. 
And um, if you want to get in contact with me, you can contact me. My email is Tasha.love with two V's management at gmail.com. And if you want any information on what Ricky, you can contact me on that email or you can go to book Ricky for life. That's with the number four at gmail.com. And of course, you got our Instagram, which is Tasha.love two V's. And then his is um, Ricky for life with the number four. So y'all go follow us. Y'all go check us out and email me with any questions. If you want to book them, you got the email address. Let's go. Period. Up, up, and away. So um, I just, in the last couple of minutes, I like to ask the more cliche questions. Okay. So um, if there's anything that you learn just in general in life or any messages of uh, well-being or some kind of pick me up for the rest of the week is there anything that you would like to leave us off with in terms of like spreading positive energy um not giving up anything like that as well um just pretty much um i just want everybody to keep their head up i feel like we're in a time right now where it's just a lot of discombobulation going on it's a lot of confusion going on out here just in general in life you know it's a lot of you know, a lot of people just don't know anything anymore. You know, I, I can't really describe, but, you know, it's a lot of people just up in the air with things. I just want to say, in these times, it's, imp it's imperative that you, you stay by your, you stick to yourself, like what your morals are, what your ambitions are, you know, because at the end of the day, I feel like I'm here to save the world, pretty much. You know, I, I've been, you know, I feel like that's something God gave me with my gifts and stuff I care about. My, my mission is I got to save the world. I, I, like, say the world, Craig, I got to go out here and do my thing. So I just want everybody to, like, spread more love out here, mm -hmm. stick together, you know, stop kind of, like, hating on each other and everything. Mm -hmm. You know, it's time to, like, bring everything back full circle with everybody. Everybody needs to start having more of a family mentality, more and more of a loving mentality, more of a let's get together, start using the bar system again. Let me help you with this, if you could help me with that. You know, start engaging more with each other. You know what I'm saying? We got to start bringing that peace back with each other. Stop being so separated and so divided. You know, like, that's our yeah. main downfall through right, right now, just with people in general. So the overall message is when you go out there, you know, show somebody some love that you don't know. You know, give somebody a little piece of advice. If you see someone down, help pick them up. You know, let's, let's just start pulling together more in general not just with black you know just in general let's just start going out there and showing who we are as individuals what we're capable of and what we can bring to the table because every little thing matters you helping one or two people out here can trickle on and then they'll feel the need to do one and thing it's time to start just putting a new wave out there you know one of my um my brother-in-law always tell me one thing all the time and you know just like how jay-z so say all the time don't go with the flow be the flow it's time to start creating new ways, okay? okay. We got, we're making new avenues. We're creating new ideas, new ways to do stuff. It's just time to advance within yourself and with others. That's my message. Period. You about to make me run across the street, okay? You know, the, the okay, okay. Okay. You know. <laughs> we, it's time. We, it's the, revolu the revolution will be televised now, okay? I know that's why I say it again. Absolutely. So my last question for the night would be if you could tell if you knew yourself, like, let's say 10, 15, 20, who knows how odd years ago, what's one thing you wish you would have known back then that would have helped you um, a little bit more? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. One thing is that everything is going to be OK. That's the main thing. Everything's going to be OK. I know sometimes things seem rough and you seem like you can't really see the outcome of it. But I will tell myself everything's going to be OK because everything that you're going through right now is setting you up to be where you need to be and how you need to be and who you need to be in life. I will not be where I am today or doing what I'm doing if I did not go through certain things, certain trials and tribulations, rejections, mm -hmm. all that. All of that stuff came into hand like till now, you know, something like you don't understand it now but you'll get it later. And you just got to trust that you will get it later. It, it, it's going to be okay. You just got to trust the process. Everything is for a reason. Nothing is in vain. 
All it's doing is building you up to be stronger, greater, and so you can go out here and really do what you need to do. Because it, it takes a certain type of pizzazz, a certain type of discernment, a certain type of ambition to do certain things. You cannot do that if you don't know certain things. If you haven't gone through certain things, you would not be able to have the knowledge or wisdom to be able to go out there and do what you need to do. So everything is necessary and it's going to be okay. That's what I would tell myself. It's going to be all right, boo. It's going to be all right. You, okay. You'll understand it later. Yes. So Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> this, you have been such an amazing, amazing guest. Um, I'm so thankful that we were able to put this all together. I'll give you another signature round of applause. Thank you. You were so lovely. I definitely enjoyed this interview. I was so nervous to talk on camera. I was like, ooh, the vibe was like, Okay, boo. Nerves are gone. Yeah, yeah. This, this, this is like a, a, yeah, this is like cool, chill combo. Like talking to a cousin we ain't never met, but everybody's family. So, <laughs> yes, girl, yes. <laughs> Beneficial thing. So, I will um, be posting this immediately on my Instagram. Everything works out correctly and, and everything's on our side. It will be available immediately on Instagram. And at some point, I'll get it on YouTube, but at least it'll be on Instagram for now. Um, also, if you ever want to come back, like if you get, um, once you get whatever else is, is in the melting pot going on, if you want to talk about it somewhere, just feel free to send me a DM, anything like that. I'd love to welcome you back. And um, it was such a pleasure. And I hope that you have a great rest of your night. I'm excited to see what else comes from Tasha Love and Ricky as well. Um, I'm looking forward to the podcast, to the movie, the talk show, whatever comes out. I'm yes, honey. Okay, I will be there soon. Don't worry. You won't have to wait too long. Yes, exactly. Maybe tomorrow, okay? <laughs> well, thank you for having me. I definitely enjoyed this interview. You've been great. Love you. Love your spirit. Keep doing what you got to do. Keep doing what you're doing. I look forward to seeing more of your stuff also. And I will definitely be keeping that contact so we can keep you posted with everything. Yes, please do. Thank you so much. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye-bye. All right, guys. What another 